AI, and here we have the very small piece. So to calculate the Q, we are using this formula. So we need I. In order to get I, we need the ARI year. So how do we know which ARI year to choose? To calculate this PSC, we need the ARI year. So we see the receiving drain capacity. The receiving drain capacity is designed to how many years of ARI. So we use that uh, ARI year in this PSC calculation. Site storage requirement. This one, we will know uh, what is the volume of OSC we need to design. SSR is total amount of storage required to ensure that the required PSD is not exceeded and the OSC facility does not overflow during the storage design storm ARI. There are a lot of storm events uh, we have two years ARI, one storm event, five years ARI, another storm event. So for, for standard, we have two, five, ten, twenty, fifty, and one hundred. We have this uh, standard storm event. So the definition for SSR here means the storage of the OSC we design must be capable of uh, producing a queue not exceed the PSD and at the same time the OSD will not overflow during the storage design storm. Let's say this OSD is designed for 10 years ARI. It will produce a queue that not exceed the PSD and the OSD will not overflow for 10 years of design storm ARI. And Masma has already uh, written there, OSD need to be designed for 10 years. So in calculating the SSR, we directly use 10 years. Regarding of the SSR, Masma has uh, also one extra rules. The designer need to have several storm duration Server storm duration, it can be 5 minutes storm duration, 10, 15, or 20. That means we assume one storm event to be 5 minutes or another storm event to be 10 minutes. So we proceed on with different storm duration. So each storm duration will produce one SSR. We do not know which storm duration is the most critical. So we have the same calculation, we repeat the same calculation on different storm duration, maybe 5, 10, 15, 20, until we get a graph like this shape. The maximum value here will be the storage volume we need to provide for our OSD. This storm duration is a critical storm duration. The following calculation of, SS, uh, of OSD based on this particular storm duration. So this is one general design concept for OSD. We need to repeat the same calculation for different storm duration. Each storm duration has its own SSR, storage volume, and then the OSD we design need to have the storage of the most maximum value. This one. So this is the main concept of the OSD design. We look at uh, how Concat can fulfill this maximum requirement. This one is OSD, and we are at the pre-development. Engineer can choose the ARI year depending on the receiving drain capacity. And for the post-development, engineer can also choose a queue, which is already stipulated in maximum guideline, need to be 10 years. The post development need to be 10 years. The pre development uh, depending on the receiving train capacity. So here the user is being given freedom to choose any ARI year they want. 
and now we look at how does the software handle the SSR. The software will pro uh, proceed same calculation on different storm duration, 5, 10, 15. This interval is determined by user. The minimum must be 5 minutes because in the Masma design, we need a lot of coefficient. We refer to a lot of table in Masma. And a lot of those tables are based on time interval of 5 minutes. So here the minimum interval must be 5 minutes. User can choose either 5, 6, 7, or 8 uh, time interval. Here, the time interval is uh, increment by 5. So the program will proceed on with this set of storm duration. And each storm duration has its own SSR. So the program will highlight the storm duration with the largest value of SSR, which is storm duration 40 minutes. This storm duration is most critical because it produces the most maximum value of SSR. So the OSD redesign must be at least with this uh, volume capacity in middle two. Look at the modeling procedure for OSD. The model in contact for the OSD, it uses two methods, rational method and the swimmer method, and can design above and below ground OSD. And there are five steps involved, starting from the pre-development, proceed down until to the last one, pipe discharge design. You look at step one, pre-development, the input data needed. In order to know this input data, the user need to firstly study the pre-development plan. We look at that development area. Before the development, how does the drainage system is? How does the stream flow? How does the water go before the development? And identify the catchment boundary and the flow pattern. So that the user can determine the length of stream flow path. After we study the pre-development plan, we have come up with the catchment boundary and also the the flow pattern, the stream flow. The length of stream flow path is the largest L. From the most remote point of the catchment to the point of discharge, we must always take the largest L. It's already written in Nasma. Always take the largest L so that we produce lower rainfall intensity. We don't over design. And then the slope of the stream flow path, after we identify that uh, stream flow with the largest L, then we estimate the slope. Very difficult to get the exact slope from the estimate. And the catchment area, uh, area for impervious and impervious area, and the type of impervious and impervious area. There's a chart for us to choose what type. Uh, the catchment is for impervious and impervious. So these are the input data needed. Firstly, the user needs to study the plan of pre-development, identify the catchment boundary, and identify the stream flow pattern. Then determine the ARR year. Again, it depends on the receiving drain capacity and the location. Then the problem will auto-calculate the TC time of concentration based on this formula. User can also manually edit the TC, the time of concentration here. The problem will auto-calculate 2P24 and FD. Fitting coefficient A, B, C, D. 
round of coefficient for impervious catchment and also round of coefficient for impervious catchment. And then this QP is the pre development peak discharge calculated by using the rational formula. This is the QP pre development. Now we proceed to step two, post development. The input data needed. This one, uh, in order to have this input data, the user need to study the plan for post development. The user need to study the proposed drainage network and also the catchment boundary. These two things. After the user has these two things, the proposed drainage network and also the new catchment boundary he can already have the input for overland street flow pad length here the time of concentration is actually T0 plus TP T0 is overland flow time TP is drain flow time overland flow time means the time needed when the uh, when the runoff touches the surface and before entering the conveyance system, overland flow time, very short. It can be from the root center to the root side drain or from the roof to the water down pipe before entering the root side drain. Overland flow time means uh, when the rain touches surfaces and before entering the conveyance system a very short period of time and the TP, the drain flow time is once after it enters the conveyance system the time needed for it to reach the discharge point so this overland flow time the data needed is the overland street flow pad length the length it can be from the root center to the root side drain or from the roof and the water down pipe before entering the root side drain. So which one to choose from the roof or from the center of the road? Again, it depends on which one produces the largest L. Largest L will give lower rainfall in SD. After we identify which one to use, then we uh, need to input the slope of the overland surface and then the bending roughness. The bending roughness, there's a chart, depends on what surface is that. The second part, the second part is to estimate the drain flow time. It needs the drain length. The drain length is the largest length of the most remote point of the drain network to the point of discharge. And the average drain velocity normally is one or two meter per second. Of course, it's very difficult to calculate V because different drain size, different V already. So it's also an average value. V is between 1 to 2 uh, meters per second. And uh, in pervious area or pervious area after development, and the type of impervious and pervious area. Again, the type can refer, we can refer to one chart for Masma to determine the type for those impervious and pervious area. We need to specify the ARR year, 10 years. Uh, reading is much more, must be 10 years. And the problem will auto calculate the TC, type of concentration, based on these three formula T0, TP. TC is just T0 plus TP. If the user does not wish to use this uh, value, user can also change. And the problem will auto calculate one off coefficient for impervious catchment and also one of coefficient for progress catchment and at the end calculate the QA post development peak discharge here we need to compare the Q of post development and pre development to see whether do we need to design a OSD if let's say for post development the Q is lesser than the pre development then there's no point to design OSD so we proceed.